There is an energy in the village of Kimberton, Pennsylvania. An energy, a spirit, a vibe, call it what you will, it exists in Kimberton and it is unique unto itself. It's hard to put into words what the village does to your spirit, to your mind, to your body. It's a connection to nature and to art, to animals and to food, to yourself and to others. It's a connection to a community of people who also feel that vibe. We wanted to make this short film to try and communicate that feeling that Kimberton has. And to understand how Kimberton arrived where it is today, we wanted to understand the past, the present, and the future. And to do so, we sat down with a few people who have been local to Kimberton for some time now. And they shared their connection with the village. Kimberton has been part of my life since I was in kindergarten. I went to the Kimberton Waldorf School. Um, in some sense, Kimberton is a living, breathing organism, and we have to continue to breathe into it. And I felt it was my time to do that. You know, you see some old buildings, you see this quaint crossroads, but it's all here for a reason, and it's still here for many of the same reasons that brought people here back in the 18th century. It all goes back you know, to the landscape and the natural resources. The creeks especially brought with them mills, and having mills close by allowed the farmers who were raising the wheat, the other grains, to have a place to have that grain milled and turned into products that people could use. And so for Kimberton, it was agricultural produce. It was milk, it was grain, it was meat. It was all the things that the farms here had in uh, plenty. The connection really with the village and what we do at Kimberton Whole Foods is that this was originally an agricultural village. We started out as a farm store and then after we were on the f off the farm and to this day we focus a great deal on supporting our, the local agricultural initiatives in our area so there's kind of a, a connection between what we did originally at the Seven Stars Farm uh, to what we continue to, to today but in a much expanded way. The village itself has changed very little over time and I give credit to the kind of the, his, the preservation of the historic nature of Kimberton. Jeff Efkin from the uh, Kimberton Inn has always had a keen eye on the value of Kimberton as a village. Um, my um, feeling is that a place like this only exists if somebody loves it and cares for it and surrounds themselves with people who are truly emotionally invested in their craft here but there are spirits somehow that are in spaces and there are vibes that are in spaces. Uh, when you drive into this village, I think your brain says, let's stop. The reality is the building has my, what my wife calls good bones. Bones come from somewhere. They come from the imagination and the spirit of the person who designed and built the space. I always go back to the short story that was written by Ernest Hemingway called A Clean, Well-Lighted Place. Um, everybody needs a clean, well-lighted place to go to. They may not know it, but when they walk into it, they feel it. And if they feel it once, they typically return to feel it again because it's magical. Public schools didn't begin in Pennsylvania until the 1830s. Before that, some of them were church-related, some of them were uh, from other organizations. But here in Kimberton, M. Moore Kimber, who came in 1817, he started 
a day school, and what made his school so different was they would take anybody, and especially they would take girls. And so it established in Kimberton this very progressive point of view about education and human rights. And so the Kimber Day School became a boarding school and was well known in the whole region as a place of liberal education. Uh, Kimber was also a station master on the Underground Railroad. And so you can see how all these things played into each other. And Kimberton became this little thriving village outside of Phoenixville, which was already very much industrialized by the Phoenix Iron Works. But this was you know, the ying for Phoenixville's yang in iron and later steel. Kimberton was education and agriculture. But I think the fact of us being here in the center of town and not kind of isolated out and then being open to anyone, over time we, we just, we've been able to create community because the community came and met around shared values on what they would eat, what they would support. We have strong feelings about what we will carry and what we won't carry. And so that intentionality um, is around what a community exists. You know, buy fresh, buy local, I think are, are the primary drivers of the culture of Kimberton Whole Foods community or culture. Again, it's, it's not, about real estate, it's about living in a sense of place. And that's really cool. And Kimberton has that. Kimberton can be an example to other communities in the, the sense that thinking about others and coexisting with other people that share that common element that they care about their neighbor but they might have different belief systems, they might have different um, thoughts about God and zoning or how they live life, but they coexist in a really well, good, good manner. There's three CSAs here, Community Supported Agriculture. There's Kimberton Whole Foods, there's Kimberton Inn. There is the Kimberton Waldorf School. So if we come back here and 2022, what do we see? We see education, we see agriculture, community supported agriculture, and we see a vital community of people who still have the entrepreneurial spirit, but really understand what an incredibly beautiful, uh, deep rooted place this is and it keeps bringing them back, and it keeps the whole place alive.